What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna help you fix your squat. I'm going to address three squat problems that I often see with individuals that I work with. Falling forward at the bottom of the squat, butt wink or posterior pelvic tilt at the bottom of the squat, and lower back pain caused by squatting. Because in one way or another, they all tie into each other. Falling forward, losing balance forward, going under your toes, leaning forward, whatever you wanna call it, is a problem that is severely affecting your ability to make progress in the squat. I don't care who you are, what style of squat you choose, what body type you are, or how much weight you're squatting, you have to move the barbell in a straight line vertically over midfoot, period. If you feel like you are falling forward, you are not keeping the barbell over midfoot. The squat is a balancing act. The second you let the bar drift away from its ideal vertical straight bar path over midfoot, you've lost balance. Now you are exerting unnecessary effort to bring the barbell back over midfoot. Squatting with the barbell over the middle of your foot not only ensures you are balanced, but it also allows you to apply pressure into the ground with your entire foot. The weight should be evenly dispersed throughout your entire foot, not just the ball of your foot and not just through your heels either. Stop saying, keep the weight over your heels and start keeping the weight over the middle of your foot. If your feet had four corners, keep all four corners glued into the ground. This is one reason why I suggest purchasing some squat shoes. The hard, flat, wide surface allows for greater surface area contact between your foot and the ground. There are a few reasons why you are having trouble keeping the barbell over the middle of your foot and here are a couple of them. Your stance is too narrow. Your toes are pointed too straight forward. You are not breathing and bracing correctly. You are pushing the barbell forward into the back of your neck. Having your feet too close together with your knees pointing straight ahead will shove your knees forward out in front of your toes. Now I'm not saying that letting your knees travel in front of your toes is a bad thing because it's not, but it does demand a lot of ankle mobility. If you lack ankle mobility and try to keep your feet flat on the ground while you squat, you are going to fall backwards. A lot of people counter this by leaning forward onto their toes. Start playing with your squat stance in your feet position. Your toes have to point out if your knees are pointing out. Your knees should be tracking with your feet throughout the entire movement. Figure out what stance width allows you to execute the following key points. Barbell over midfoot, vertical straight bar path, Crease of the hips goes below the top of the kneecap. Moving on. If you want to squat big weights, you have to understand how to correctly breathe. Before you squat down, take a big gulp of air into your belly and brace down as if someone was going to punch you in the stomach. Keep that intra-abdominal pressure throughout the entire squat. This pressure and support in your abdomen is your lower back support. Lose tension in your core and you lose support for your lower back. Breathe through your mouth down into your belly and brace down. You should feel pressure all the way around your torso. I focus so hard on breathing and bracing that my obliques are sore the day after a high volume squat session. Correctly breathing and bracing can also prevent your lumbar spine from going into flexion, i.e. butt wink. Intra-abdominal pressure will keep your lumbar spine supported and neutral. Rather than supporting the barbell securely on your back, your hands and arms are working against you by pushing the barbell forward into the back of your neck. If your butt shoots up out of the bottom and the barbell drifts forward, you could be failing to drive your upper back into the barbell as you stand back up. Check out the video I made about this important cue by clicking on the tag in the upper right hand corner of this video. I've noticed that some men and women who tend to dive bomb their squats always find themselves off balance and leaning forward. Don't do this. Maintain balance throughout the entire eccentric movement. Once it's time to explode through the concentric part, do so, but do not lose tension on the way down, hoping to spring yourself back up. This might be why you keep driving through your toes on the way up. People have told me, Alan, I keep falling forward at the bottom of the squat. I think it's because I have tight ankles. Then I tell them to squat down and pause for five seconds. Barbells over midfoot, their balance, their squat looks great to me. Take your time and ensure you are balanced. Over time, you can increase speed once you feel you've greased the groove. Some of you watching this might be saying to yourselves, oh my goodness, look at Alan, he's got a butt wink. Look at his butt just winking at me. And I'm here to say that what you're seeing is not a big deal. I wouldn't consider this butt wink. I'm not going into a posterior pelvic tilt. My lumbar spine is not going into flexion. 
My low back is staying tight. I don't experience any lower back pain when I squat or anything like that. I think it's just the camera angle. So from this angle, you can see that it looks like my butt is shifting, and maybe it is. But uh, check out the same squat from the side angle. You don't see much butt wink at all. Make sure you are keeping the barbell over the center of your foot throughout the entire squat by giving yourself room to squat with a solid stance, breathing into your belly, correctly bracing, controlling the weight on the way down, and driving your upper back into the barbell as you stand up.